is Cheryl Johnson from Art Lessons Now, and we're getting ready to launch a new video class called Black Swan, Lesson 3. Jim Wildman and myself will be demonstrating how to create an abstract painting using multiple layers, masking, uh, using various elements like frisket and rubber cement and things like that in order to block uh, the surface. We're going to be using a deckled edge watercolor paper. This is the final painting for me and it went through uh, many cycles. Oh my god. Uh, sometimes I wonder why I don't stop when I've really got a great painting. I think it's because I want to share with you all the different techniques so that you can explore because we really urge you to paint along. So in the next few minutes I'm going to share with you different parts of the various lessons so that you can see different examples of the process, the techniques, and we'll share the principles of art, how to use composition and values and color and how to mix paint. And we'll be doing that and then we'll be wrapping up the uh, short video here by sharing with you what we're going to offer this class for and hey that's really exciting so uh, make sure that you watch because you're worth the investment in learning how to create how to paint and how to pursue your passions so get ready we're going to share three or four areas and have a lot of fun this course is really about experimentation looking at different styles of art and deciding can we create them? Do we want to create them? Do we like them? Do we like the process uh, that we used that was involved in getting to the final degree and final steps? You know, every painting has a story. Do you remember walking through a museum and before you went into the museum, you stopped by a counter and you picked up those little headsets that you could walk and pick a painting and listen to the information about the painting. They told you who painted it, the time period, what it was, uh, the media it was painted with, and they told you the story of a painting. Well, every painting has a story, and this one does too. Jim Wildman and myself are teaching artlessonsnow.com, and we came up with the idea that we wanted to share the methods of teaching and experimenting with different types of media, oil, acrylic, watercolor, and different subject matter. We're both uh, accomplished artists that have been painting for a long time and have gone through many different styles from realism to abstract and we are kind of moving towards the abstract now and are drawn to that the most. And we decided to talk about uh, creating a painting that was in high contrast values. We both uh, spend our time looking at art on the internet and came across several uh, pieces of art that we really liked and Jim said, hey, I wonder how they did that. And we decided that we would create a painting on watercolor paper and we'd share with you the process. And we talk about values. Speaking of values, I have written three books. This one happens to be Values, the Creative Advantage. And we're offering this in PDF form and also in printed form. And it's a great resource. I spent a lot of time talking about uh, the different lessons that you can learn with values and how you use values to make your painting more impactful. Because I believe values are more important than color. But don't get me wrong, I love color. So I urge you to go out to our site and check out um, our values uh, books and the color tips books and other things. And I'm offering a free color tips that you'll want to sign up for. So make sure you do that. So we're going to go kind of back to the beginning and step back and show you the first steps and uh, share with you the tools, the techniques, and the process that will share with you how we're going to do our lessons going forward and what you can expect to get in our lessons. Hi, this is Cheryl Johnson and welcome to Art Lessons Now. We're going to paint a painting that I'm going to call Black Swan. It has nothing to do with swans. Swans mate for life. I love swans. There's white ones and black ones. But I'm going to call this Black Swan because I found it's easier for me to remember the project if I give them a name. And I'm co-sharing this uh, session with Jim Wildman, who is in Claremore, Oklahoma. Jim will be following up this session with a painting where he's going to do a 
time lapse as well as a voiceover so he can show you details of the painting so you can progress along. Uh, I wanted to talk about this uh, black swan painting that we just finished up. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it right now. After it's completely dry, I'll put a fixative on top of it, and uh, I'm I'm done with this one. Uh, what we did is we started off this painting on a piece of 20 by 30, 300-pound uh, white watercolor paper, and then we applied some blocking material. Uh, I, I tried it with frisket. I tried it with uh, rubber cement, and there was a third, and I can't think of what it was right now. But after applying all three of them, I like the fr liquid frisket the best. Don't want to overwork this, so... I'm seeing if I can maybe smooth out these brush lines a little bit. I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera, but I got some nice texture by using the, just pressing it up and down on the wet area. And as I spoke to you in the beginning, we're going to look at values. The values of darks to light. And how you can change the values and change the power of your painting. In order to change values, you just need three things. You need white, black, and the color that you're using. So values are the first thing you can change in a painting. And then the next thing you need to look at are differences. What are the different sizes that you have created? Is there enough balance to the composition? Uh, are there enough unique areas that make your eye move around the canvas? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back in and turn this into an abstract painting. Notice some colors are dropping down. I don't even mind that. The reason the colors are dropping is because this was done with the charcoal. Remember the soft tube charcoal? And that that's really a great effect. And I'm going to come down here. Remember I like to do things in threes and I want to make sure I've got some of that color down here. Okay, I always like to step back and look at my painting and really make sure it's where I want it to be and I uh, do a black and white photograph of it and I look at the values and I just want to add just a little bit more punch to it and change the values a little bit. Remember, values are so important. I talked about that a minute ago. Contrast between dark and light. There we have uh, abstract painting that I've used a lot of techniques. We've had a lot of fun and I hope you take the time to experiment. Look through all the training parts. Make sure you watch Jim's uh, session. He did a beautiful painting that's multiple colors, rusts and blues and taping and using maskets and different friskets in order to create elements and to teach you how to do that. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this. We've provided this portion of the video as a uh, kind of a sneak preview of the entire thing. So now we want to talk about the art class, okay? Art lessons now. We're in business to offer you art lessons. Yes, we do want to sell our paintings, and I hope you buy it. But we also want to provide art lessons for you at a very nominal fee. And so we aren't charging hundreds of dollars, $5.97 or $2.64 or $200 a year or make you do a subscription. We are placing it out there for you to buy at a very nominal fee. Because this is the holiday season coming into summer, and I'm really concerned about COVID out there right now and so many people, I'm encouraging you to stay at home, do social distancing, and as a special um, offer, we are not going to offer this at our usual price of $60. We're going to offer it to you for, are you ready? 30 bucks. I mean, that's for 30 bucks. That's three cups of coffee. You can have these training classes forever. Download them, keep them, take the time to look through them, watch from the beginning to the end, watch Jim's videos, watch mine, learn and experiment. Paint along. That's what this is about. This is about. 
So we hope you've enjoyed this lesson on black swan. We took it from a real black swan to just a really strong painting with strong darks and lights. And we really had a good time painting. You can purchase a class. We're just in the beginning. So please support us. Come out and purchase the class. You come to artlessonsnow.com. You click on the class. It'll take you to Vimeo. Vimeo will allow you to purchase it. And it'll be yours for as long as you want to watch it. You can download it. And you can have that for your use. And don't forget to check out our PDFs and our color tips and all of that. Okay, I'm going to stop right here and do a commercial. Because I have written three books. This happens to be one of them. This is called Values, the Creative Advantage. This is 257 pages, and I am going to be offering it in print and also PDF. I haven't found a good source yet for printing it more economically on demand, but as soon as I do, the print books will be available. Uh, it's a great tool. This one happens to be all about values. It's got some exceptional resources, the power of values, uh, how to use values in color, uh, the contrast and appearance, uh, the principles of art, values defined. It's really a great book and a wonderful resource for you. And you can download it uh, from the PDF and have it there for you. Okay, we're back. As you notice, the water just left a few stained marks. And now we're going to be using some latex soft green paint, kind of a yellow tone to it. And we're going to add some wonderful areas. Remember we talked about how to create a dynamic painting? You use differences, different sizes, different textures, different lines, different shapes. And now we have this wonderful area here about this size and over here. And we have this huge dark area. So I think I'm going to add some really bold light area to this and carry this movement down. I don't want to cover up my really interesting story here. I just want to take away the swan, the black swan, because I don't want it to be a realism painting. So this is Cheryl Johnson and Jim Wildman for Art Lessons Now. We hope that you have more joy every day. Mm -hmm.